This is amazing. Now we have a virtual AI town or AI world where the characters are simulated and you can see everyone interacting with each other based on the large language model which we provide. We can also interact with them. As you can see here, I asked, hi, how are you? And the reply is, I'm fine. So each and every character has a persona. So you can see here, Bob is always grumpy and he loves trees. He spends most of the time gardening by himself. So you can see Bob here and it's a mini town. You can navigate across the town and you can even customize yourself. Also note that this is completely running in localhost and I'm using Llama 3 which is running locally using Olama. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about AI Town, a virtual AI world where you can simulate the interaction between different agents or characters. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to set this up on your computer with Olama Llama 3, with MXBA embedding and making it to run in your local host, local computer. But before that, I create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first step, git clone github.com slash a16z infra AI town and then click enter. Next, navigate to the AI town folder. Now you need node on your computer. Make sure you download node from node.org. Now we are going to type nvm install and version 18.17.0. This is because the convex backend version which we are going to use is using the 18.17.0 version, which you can see from this path. That's why we are installing this node version. So install that version. Next, we are going to activate by typing nvm use 18.17.0 and then click enter. Now we are using the node version 18.17.0. First, we are going to install required packages. Next, we are going to download Llama 3 from Olama. Also, we are going to install embeddings using Olama. Next, we are going to run convex that is backend as a service package then fourth we are going to run the front end and finally back so let's start with one so run npm install and click enter this will download all the npm packages required next make sure you download olama from olama.com then olama pull llama 3 and then click enter this will download the llama 3 model next olama pull mxbai embed launch and then click enter this is for embedding now we have completed step number two now step number three installing and running convex so using this path we are going to download convex then we are unzipping it and then click enter i will put all the information on the command in the description below after this brew install just you might need to install just based on your operating system currently i'm using mac so i'm using brew install just and then click enter once that is done dot slash convex local backend and then click enter this will automatically start the backend as a service now keep this terminal running now we are going to a new terminal now we reactivate the node version 18.17.0 and then click enter. Now npm run dev frontend and then click enter. This will automatically activate the frontend, that is this URL. So step number four is done. So now the final step is to run the backend. Now create a new terminal, keep all other two terminal running, create a new one. There again, you're going to choose the nvm use 18.17.0 version and then click enter. Now npm run dev backend and then click enter. This will automatically initiate the backend, but I'm going to cancel this because we need to do one more thing, which is if you are doing it for the first time, or if you want to reset the whole world, which was created before, just type just convex run in it. If you want to keep the existing world, or if you are coming to access this world the second time, then you don't need to do this step. This is only when you want to reset the world which you created initially. So I'm going to type this and then click enter. Now the world or the AI virtual world got reset. I'm going to start the backend by typing npm run dev backend and then click enter. Now the backend has started. You can see the conversation going on. Now I'm going to show you the virtual world. And here is the virtual world, which is completely starting from scratch. I can even add a music if I want by clicking this button. Now I can navigate this through. I can even zoom. I can even talk to any person. By clicking that, you can see the person's name and their character. You can even start interacting with them by clicking the interact button here. So here I can see Pete is requesting me to talk to him. I'm clicking accept, walking over, and you can clearly see it's running in localhost. This way you can simulate your own world and see how people are interacting with each other 
define a persona for each person and then see how the things are happening in the world. Now you can see the conversation start happening. I can just ask, how are you? And you can see the conversation happening between two person. That's between me and Stella, who requested for a conversation. And you can see Stella is typing, I'm doing marvelously. Thanks for asking. You are able to modify the large language model or customize the embedding model which we are using. This can be done by editing a file. So open the folder in VS Code. There you got a folder called Convex, then Util. Inside Util, there is a file called LLM.ts. There you got the integration part. So we got Llama 3 MXBA Embed Lodge. So you can change this model name and the embedding model based on your requirements. You also have options to integrate that with Together AI, Open AI. There is one more settings which you might need to consider is inside convex there is constant.ts. You might need to change number of memories to search equals one. This is based on the documentation which you can see here. So I will put this link also in the description below. So this will have the latest installation steps in case if you are trying to install after two, three months. Also note that this is based on the generative agents paper which got released in August 2023 and you got the whole details in this paper. So yeah, that's a quick tutorial in regards to how to set this AR town locally on your computer with open source large language model. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.